Juice on EA Sports UFC. We're all very excited. It's been a crazy day. We did some jiu-jitsu. Robert Whitaker was here. You really put us through the ringer. Uh, you announced a lot of things. Tell us about some of the big features in the game. Uh, well, for the first time in any UFC game, we're going to be featuring an open fighter in the career mode, so we're really excited about that. Uh, of course, we have our online suite uh, of game modes, such as championships and rivalries. Um, we have a use spotlight feature where players can upload their highlight reels from the fights, look at promotional material. So there's, you know, there's a, a well-rounded suite of uh, features. And so when you go to spotlight, uh, you'll actually see promo content from the UFC. Is that correct? Yeah. So you know, 174 is coming up. Uh, if the game was out right now, you'd be able to go and use the spotlight and fight and promotional material directly from the UFC. Um, and in addition, we'll also feature esports content from ourselves, such as tutorials. Maybe we'll have fighter interviews uh, with the esports staff. Awesome. Maybe some vlogs of Dana White saying the effort. Oh, I was getting excited. <laughs> now, Bass, we've got some pretty uh, pretty big questions for you. First question off the bat that I want to ask you, as far as footwork goes, when you get a guy like uh, Dan Henderson circling away from the big right, for example, um, and he hits it, will that uh, lend less damage to the opponent? To the opponent? Do you guys have worked that kind of thing into the game? So each of the licensed fighters have uh, sort of unique traits. Obviously, Dan Henderson, you know, he's got that big right, John Hendricks, that big left. You'll be able to see, um, you know, through the rating system that, you know, when you land that left hook, it should do a lot of punishment on the fighter that you're uh, not going to do. Excellent. Do you want to punch this guy? Yeah. Well, I want to punch this guy back. And then that's actually what you're maybe, I don't know. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of love going on right now. <laughs> Bro, man, you're, you're in the middle of a jazz. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you, obviously, you know, you guys aren't the first guys to make a UFC game. We have made in general, there was, you know, previous series. Is there anything that you look at in past games, you go, mm, these guys did that well and decently, we want to improve on that or do it better or something we can play in the future? Obviously, part of any pre-production for any game is looking at the competition, not only from, uh, from other publishers and developers, but from ourselves. So, of course, you know, when we started working on UFC, we looked at not only these words that we made, at other games in the space, um, we looked at fight night, we looked at everything, and we really try and draw on what makes that game good. Um, try and capturing uh, or leveraging or improving on those areas. And then speaking of you know next gen, you know PS4, Xbox One, you know that stuff's just come out. You guys are releasing this game on PS4, you know in June. Just tell us a little bit about what was it, what was it like working with this next gen software. And obviously, you just you know on the tipping point, really, what do you see sort of in the future, like uh, with, with the next gen, what, what's possible for you to create? Um, I mean, it's hard to say what's what's coming up for next gen. Uh, really, you know, you look at sort of what happened with Xbox. 60 and we released Fight Night Round 3 and everyone was like, that is next gen, I want that game. But yeah. then you look at Fight Night Round 4 and Fight Night Champion and it took it to another level. So I think, you know, you'll expect to see a lot more realism, a lot better presentation, a lot more improvements in terms of uh, the small details. Um, and yeah. Yeah, well that's pretty exciting stuff. Now speaking of uh, presentation, we saw some of the knockouts before, we had some, we had some crazy knockouts, you know, one one of the guys went down, you know, really stiff arm. I like the knockouts in EA MMA, you know, some of the other franchises are a little bit more robotic. What exactly did you guys do in order to get the knockouts as realistic, you know, as possible? Uh, well, we had our uh, creative director, Brian Hayes, in mocha, and we managed to punch him in the No, I mean, it really comes down to our animators and our animation team. Uh, we brought a lot of experience over from Fight Night, um, and they leveraged a lot of the animations from both the Sports MMA and Fight Night. Um, and basically just improve the bar. And you know, when I knock Casper out in the game, I like to keep punching him in the face. We were playing around with the game before, we noticed once you knock someone out, you can't keep punching him in the face. Will that be a feature that will be included in the game? Or is that something that we can expect maybe in the future in other games? Maybe in the future, but not for this round. And is that more to do with uh, a rating thing? Or is that just to do with something that you guys want to do? Um, a, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah. I mean, there's always, you know, uh, the rating stuff is always sort of, um, it's a tricky sort of aspect of building a game. Obviously, we want to make this as authentic as possible. But sometimes there's things you've got to scale back on, such as blood on the canvas, blood on the fighters. Um, not to say that our damage system, our damage system isn't robust. Um, 
but there's always things that you got to be sort of mindful with for dealing with different territories and regions. Yeah, you know, when we, when we were playing the game, there was blood on the ground, and then I was going, oh, blood's disappearing, and the jazz kind of said, listen, it's right, he's saying, I wish the blood could stay. We all wish the blood could stay. We all wish the blood could stay. If we lived in a perfect world, there'd be blood all over the place. But they do stand in the box. Yes. That's good. Another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, with the knockouts, because obviously we only, we only got about half an hour, more or less, with the game, so maybe we need to figure it out. But if you say knock someone down, not the fight him down, he's not knocked out, can you jump up on top of him, say, get him out, and keep, you know? It depends on the type of knock. So there's there's knockouts where you hit the guy and he's out, it's yeah. done. Uh, but there's also knockdown. So if you knock a guy down, you are gonna have to get on top of him. So you know, posture up, lay some elbows down, and uh, you know, finish fighting. And you know, with slams, obviously slams are huge. Ever since Rampage Jackson knocked out uh, and the guy Adam Pride with a slam, they knock out what guys with slams in this game. There are no slam knockouts in this version of esports. You see the stuff of something that. Uh, Will you be willing to give me credit for that? <laughs> I would be willing to give you credit. Yes! <laughs> Finally, I've become famous. Another thing I want to talk to you about is with the submissions. Uh, obviously, there's, there's quite a few submissions in the game. You guys have a really robust system. I want to ask you, from your experience, what are some of your favorite submissions in the game? And also, a lot of people want to know, are there you know, it's possible to switch submissions, like try with armbar, and etc.? Um, that's, that's a great question. Being able to switch submissions is definitely something that I think would add a lot of realism Right now, you can't do that. Um, but I mean, that's definitely something that we should be looking at in the future. In terms of my favorite submission, the Twister by far. Uh, I think Korean Zombie is the only person who's done it in the game. Um, it's a submission that we have in the game that you can do. And it's also it's a valuable submission to have because you can do it from the sort of submissive position. You can do it from the bottom, as where most of the um, submissions are done from the top. And it's delicious, it's a KFC delicious treat. Now, uh, Bruce Lee's in the game. We love Bruce Lee, everybody loves Bruce Lee. Tell us a little bit, how did you come about putting Bruce in the game? And will there be any other uh, cool celebrities, guys like Chuck Norris, any other cool appearances in the game this time? Uh, I mean, Bruce Lee's name uh, was tossed around. I mean, I, I wasn't personally involved in the decision to include him. All I know is that someone ended up tossing his name out and we were like, yes, we need Bruce Lee. So no one mentioned Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, Chuck Norris, no. But I mean, going, wow. back, going back to Bruce Lee, we ended up approaching the UC with the idea. They were uh, they were super excited about it, and we approached Shannon Lee, Bruce's daughter, yeah. um, and obviously uh, she's very interested in preserving the legacy of Bruce Lee. So yeah. they got on board. Um, in terms of you know other celebrity characters, uh, it's never say never, but I think it's unlikely. Bruce Lee was a was a special case. You know, he his philosophies uh, really epitomize uh, the state of MMA. Um, whereas, you know, we want to try and keep this as authentic as real possible. Certainly, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, they might just get a little bit out of hand. But just to be clear, you know, there might be some DLCs in the future and you can never say never. Something might pop up, right? Something might pop up. Submission ready in the game. There you go. I'll take a little ready. All right. Right. Another thing I really wanted to ask you about is as far as like, you know, you've already got a great game. Or no, as far as who's in, as far as the roster goes, but also what is what is the cutoff like for the roster? So Jay Shields got released, Melvin Gallard, and you got Anthony Johnson who recently returned. What is it like? Is it right up until the final deadline? You guys added characters, or is it like right, six months out? I right? mean, we the roster was in flux right up until extremely recently. Uh, we worked very closely with the UC to determine who's going to make the final cut. Um, Obviously, they're very brand conscious, uh, so they they wanted to have some involvement in that. Um, you know, as you saw in, in the demo upstairs, we do have DLC plans. We haven't really talked about those yet, uh, but expect to see the roster involved. Now you mentioned you love the Twister. We love the Twister. You've played the game a lot. What's the craziest moment? What's the biggest eye-opening moment for you in this game where you've played it with someone or tested it and you thought, wow, this is crazy, I can't believe it. Easily the biggest moments in the game are anytime you knock someone out, knock someone out using, you know, the Showtime head us kick off the <laughs> cage or Superman punch off the cage. Uh, those that cage interaction is really special. Oh wow. Tell us also a little bit about the creative fighter mode, because obviously you know, it's a big part of Korea. I want to double check two things. One with the creative fighter, can you do any, can you use any previous UFC fighters in Korea mode? And how deep is the creative fighter mode? Um, I mean, you can use Game Face to create a fighter that's not on the roster, um, and then bring that guy into Korea mode. So, you know, if you have our Game Face feature, and if you upload a really good picture of uh, someone that's on the roster, you can potentially use them. 
Wow, and with leg kicks, can we knock people out with them? Or what's the situation there? Is it just a knockdown? Uh, right now it's just a knockdown thing. Um, sorry, you mean if I kick you in the leg? Or? Oh no, if you kicked me, I'd be knocked out for sure. But in the game... Um, I'm sorry about that Anderson Silva, Chris Weidman moment. Yeah. I mean, that is something uh, that I think we definitely would be looking into adding. Unfortunately, by the time something like that happened in the real world, we were already firing a game. I want to also ask you, in the last trailer we saw different abilities for your creative fighter in, in career mode. Uh, is that something that also translates into exhibition? And when do you sort of use that? Is it something you can apply between rounds or just you know, for that fight? In terms of career, you're going to apply those uh, on a fight-by-fight -fight basis. So let's say you are uh, you know, facing a takedown artist, you can apply an ability specifically for that fight that's going to give you a better chance at stuffing those. Uh, in terms of the fight now mode and exhibition uh, fighters, Yes, they do have abilities, and you can check out the Fighter Info uh, tab to sort of see what each fighter brings to you the Cool. Fantastic. Cool. Jazz, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. we got five tab out questions for you before we finish up this interview. Okay. So when you're ready, let us know. I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Favorite character players in the game? Bruce Uh First MMA fight you remember watching? Chuck Liddell versus Randy Couture. BJ Pan looks like he has a double chin in the game. Do you think he'll come up to you and say something about that? I hope not. Uh, there's obviously the final copy of the game. They say it's locked into a vault similar to Cerebro in X-Men. Is that true? Are these rooms true? I can't tell you. And tell us on a personal note, finish a sentence. What's something about Jazz that we don't know? Something about Jazz? I, uh, I, I like to dance. Wow. The name suggests it all. Guys, Jazz, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you. Excited about the game. You made some promises, some credits. We might be in the game, guys. You never know. And thanks for being on submission.